This is Tucker. He is an Eastern box turtle and one of the education animals at Wolf Creek Environmental Center. He and the other animals will frequently join us on education programs to help us teach about wildlife. When not at programs, Tucker spends his days here in this indoor habitat. Like all living things, box turtles need food, water, shelter, and space to live. It can be challenging to properly care for wild animals. We have a permit from ODNR to house native wildlife for education. Tucker is a reptile. Reptiles and all other ectothermic animals rely on the environment to regulate body temperature. One side is heated with a heat lamp to provide a space for him to warm up, and the other side is an area he can move to to cool down. We also have a special UVB bulb that is necessary for all captive reptiles to have healthy bones and shell. How do wild reptiles survive without light bulbs? The sun shines its full spectrum of light and provides for all of those needs. Let's go see the habitat of a wild box turtle. No, not the pond. We're in the forest. Box turtles have many adaptations that make it well suited for the forest. They are terrestrial turtles and actually swim quite poorly. Tucker likes to take a bath on occasion though. Turtles have no teeth. They have a beak much like a bird. They are omnivores so they can eat both meat and plants. Their diet includes insects, grubs, worms, snails, slugs, eggs, mushrooms, and flowers, veggies, fruits, and leaves. Box turtles have claws to help them walk over rocks and logs on the forest floor. Oops! Their dome-shaped shell and their strong neck means they're not on their backs for long. With some effort, they can flip back over. Box turtle males, like Tucker, are usually more colorful than the females. Both benefit from the protection of camouflage. Colors and patterns make it more difficult for predators to find them. When threatened, they will retreat all of their limbs into their shell and clamp it shut. They can close up, like a box. This is possible through a special hinge on the lower plastron shell. Very few predators can effectively prey upon an adult box turtle because of this adaptation. Tucker has lived with the Medina County Park District since 2009. He greets hundreds of people each week. His job is to bring people a little closer to nature and to inspire all who meet him to join us in seeking to enhance the quality of all life through education, conservation, and the protection of natural resources.